Hi, Dr. Todd Sullivan from Nova Chiropractic and Acupuncture. One common condition we treat in the office is when people deal with these chronic muscle knots right in the trapezius muscle here. And a lot of times that can be caused by poor posture, it can be caused by just tension in this upper back and stress. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can treat this at home, and then I'm gonna show you how I treat it in the office. So one common complaint a lot of patients have is they come in and they have pain and tightness right in this area here. And it's palpable, you can often feel the knot right there. It feels like a little nodule right there. And that muscle runs from here and it goes all the way up to the neck here. So a lot of times poor posture, show me a poor posture for me, that puts a lot of tension on this area up here. So one of the things we immediately talk with patients is, let's have you have good posture there and that immediately relaxes these muscles right through here and helps take pressure off that knot. Now the other things you can do at home in, in addition to working on posture is we have a, just a simple lacrosse ball and we can take that ball and pin that up against the wall or just have somebody else roll that ball right into this. But you can pin it up against the wall or against the floor and just go up and down this area, work right around the corner of the scapula because that's where that muscle knot's gonna sit. And you're just gonna kind of find that tender area. It may be up a little bit higher, it may be a little bit lower. And that's where you wanna concentrate and you wanna roll it around for 20 to 30 seconds and then do the other side for 20 to 30 seconds. And you may have to do this initially daily in order to kind of break up that knot and to help loosen it up. But that's a great simple way to help. The other thing you can do is you can work on your posture and your shoulder mobility. And what we're gonna do is, what I want you to do is slouch really bad for me there. Good, so again, this is the common position a lot of people get in. So to reverse that, we're gonna do like what we call a W exercise. So a W exercise, we're gonna get in a good neutral position there. And what she's gonna do is she's gonna start with her arms down by her side and she's going to bring her arms up into a W position. Good, and essentially we're just kind of reversing that rounded posture that we're gonna be going into a W position and relax there. And let's do that again. And she's gonna hold it for a few seconds and then relax. And I would do about 10 repetitions, holding it for two seconds, and then do that like once or twice a day, and that'll actually help to retrain your shoulders to be in a good position. When I'm examining a patient in the office for this condition, the other differential diagnosis we have to look at is sometimes patients will come in and they'll have pain in this region. Right along the shoulder blade, they'll have pain right in this region here. And what we wanna do is we wanna di differentiate, is it a muscle problem right here, or is it a nerve issue that's coming from the neck? So there, from the neck, there's a branch of the nerve that goes down this pleasure arm. A branch of it goes right along your shoulder blade right here. And a lot of times that can cause like a chronic muscle knot or sharp pain right here. But I feel that actually more nerve related pain versus a muscular pain right here. So when I'm evaluating a patient, I'm seeing is it more of an issue in the neck and that nerve or is it more of a muscular problem? So if it is more of a, a nerve issue right here, you don't necessarily want to roll the ball on that area. You want to work on that posture, one, that'll help, but also you want it to kind of treat the neck here. So if you're dealing with a sharper pain here, you can actually ice right across this region of the neck and also along the shoulder blade and that'll help to calm down that nerve pain. A lot of times though, patients will also, in addition to having pain here, they'll have pain that kind of radiates down the arm and that's a clear indication you're dealing with a nerve issue but if it's a muscular issue use the techniques we just discussed and if it's more of a nerve i would do the ice and then receive treatment in the office in our office how we treat the knot in the shoulder blade is we often do a technique called dry needling so dry needling is we use an acupuncture needle and we place it into a tight knot or muscle right through there and what it's going to do is it's going to help to relax that chronic knot that you have in this this region here and a lot of times what the patient feels is she feels like a little tap that's me tapping the acupuncture needle in and then she may feel a little dull achiness when i hit that that spot and that actually is the release of that trigger point or that knot in the area very effective treatment for that knot in the trapezius and shoulder blade region here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a demonstration of how I would treat that spot specifically right there with dry needling. Okay, to dry needle the trapezius, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the muscle and I wanna just kind of palpate that knot and she's got a very distinct knot right there as do most people. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply that acupuncture needle right there. There it is. And what she feels is a little twitch of the muscle right there as it's releasing. And that's good. And sometimes we'll get some multiple twitches there as she has a tight spot right there. So that's 
Often all we need to do in order to release that muscle, a lot of times we'll also do some Graston technique or some active release technique in that area as well. But the dry needling is very effective at getting rid of that chronic knot in that region.